Come steady. Somehow this is happening in pools. I did not see this tournament. Don't look at me. Don't act like these guys are playing this early. I'm, I'm surprised, to say the least. But I mean, there was only two pools, to be fair. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> this one? Maybe this is finals of the pool. I don't know. This is probably. It's probably know. finals. Yeah, yeah, that would be the only way. But uh, if I was betting, then, I would say that Jones City has a slight edge in this match. Why do you say that? The person I see Jump Steady grind with more than anyone in this entire game is Larry. Oh, I see, I see. So he knows the Wolf matchup very well. I, I'm not saying that K9 and Larry are the same, like they play the same at all, but I, I think the matchup familiarity is definitely in uh, Jump Steady's favor. Like, this, this has got to be like the most comfortable matchup for him anyway. And I don't know, you play both these characters. Uh, wh what do you think this matchup's like? I, I don't know. I, I I feel like no, none of these characters have like a huge advantage over the other. I I think it's pretty close to even. Yeah. That's what I was thinking too. They're both those characters too that like if you have really solid fundamentals, you're gonna drive with the character. So. And also like it's a really big deal on how on point. Ooh. Man, damn, that was alpha. Yeah, <laughs> so good. It, it really comes down to how well K9's uh, two framing is on Palutena as well. Yeah. We saw like that whole kill setup was just off of the two frame. Yeah, the two frame down. So yes, caught the double jump. So that that's a really really big deal. Uh, of course, uh, I mean, Palutena has that too. She can uh, down tilt like she can two frame Wolf as well. But yeah. I feel like Wolf's way you have. Uh, Less of a read and more of just a reaction. So K9 went for the craziness. The sauce, dude. <laughs> Definitely went for the sauce. I love to see it though. Wolf Flash is one of the coolest moves in this game. Yeah. Wolf's a very cool character. Like, he, the way he plays can sometimes be lame, but uh, yeah, like his moves are just like aesthetically pleasing to look at and stuff for like that. For sure, for sure. Forward smash check. K9 just keeping it safe, but. Looks like uh, Jump Steady just jumping right over everything. He's tried to maybe snipe a double jump with the uh, neutral beam. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to see him if he hits him far enough to where he forces the, the wolf flash to just like hit that move off, off the ledge. I think he can up smash it, right? Yes. Yeah. But that's definitely more of a read. And wow, overshot explosive flame right there. Going to give K9 a humongous opening, and he's just going to come right on in and up smash. Yeah. Living, going to the slide direction there, that. Ooh, that was actually a really good stall with the shine to get past the uh, explosive flame. Yeah. After the directional air dodge, too. So get a dash attack. Oh, but the neutral air is still not enough. K9 is oh, so much. Oh, okay. man. Even down is going to kill at that percent. Yeah, that initial down is actually pretty strong. Or, like, you know, like that hit that's like close to her. Yeah. Weird. Ooh, oh, he definitely called that jump yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, but the Nair is so active. Four airs coming in. Wow, that Nair fade back did not catch the roll. Yeah. Cameron was definitely calling that out, too. They has to burn the double jump to avoid the Politan up air. None of Wolf's aerials can contest that move. Yeah, you, I guess just, you just have to get away from it. A lot of aerials can't contest that move. No, it, it's incredibly disjointed and powerful. Yes. There's no reason to ever try to challenge it. Cloud Dare can beat it out. Like the initial hit. Very specific move. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's just rough too, because Palutena, when she jumps up, she's like a fox. Like, it's just like she rises up so fast. Exactly. Very hard to react to. Last hit scenario here. Oh, man, that max range fair is so good on shield. Did he just catch him? Oh, barely living, but where's he going to land here, though? Try to get the oh, oh, the double. Oh, man. He like. So he had already gotten his shield pressured pretty heavily from the first up smash. He's in that situation where, all right, I don't want to get shield poked here. I just want to immediately get off the platform. But he wasn't necessarily playing, paying attention to where K9 was positioned after that. Right, right. Which is just like a lot of people do that in that situation. Yeah, and even just up smash on landing is so good. Even if your opponent throws out an aerial, Wolf, beginning of the uh, yeah, up smash. Yeah, low profile. Yeah, he pancakes onto the ground. Low, pro low profiles a lot. Yeah, it's really close. 
I gotta say, I'm surprised. I kind of thought Gemstay would have an easier time. But uh, Cannon's still a really good player. Even if Gemstay is much more practiced in the matchup, I would say. Yeah. Because uh, surprisingly, they don't play that much in this game, uh, K9 and Jump Steady. And uh, there's not that many Palus in SoCal. If you're not playing Jump Steady, you're probably not playing a Palu, really. Yeah, there's there's not a lot of Palus. Uh, Jump Steady definitely only, I feel like the only like PR level Palutena in uh, SoCal. Yeah. Which is funny, because Jump Steady's like, not ranked this season. Right. But he definitely could have been. Yeah. Like He's definitely a player of that caliber. Yeah. I am wrong. I think so as well. Call out the double jump with the up air. Luckily, he didn't get like a double up air in that situation. It might have killed off the top of the blast one on this stage. Oh no, I've seen that Palu up air kill at some disgusting percents. Oh, caught the startup of the wolf. Uh, wolf fire? That's fire crazy. wolf. Fire wolf. Yeah, that move kind of takes a while for the hitbox to come out. Oh, nice getting all the nares. At free 30%. Isn't technically K9 not uh, ranked this season? Oh, yeah, K9 is also unranked. This is crazy. So, like, that kind of explains the seeding a little bit now. I yeah. thought about that. They're both unranked players. Yeah, man, who, who's on this SoCal panel, dude? Jump Steady and K9 not ranked? What the hell? K9 has some really rough losses this past season. I, I'm just trolling. Oh, I'm on the panel. Oh, what? Oh, my God, you are. Wow, I forgot about that. Man. <laughs> do that, dude. <laughs> oh, there's a two-frame fair. Does he have double jump? Okay, yeah. Oh, I, I thought that was the, the easy nair off stage. Man, nice. that, that ledge trump ain't what it used to be. Yeah, definitely. Ledge trump hitting different in ultimate. <laughs> Hold up and in and just totally avoid some situations. Ooh, I like nice. the explosive flame. What a dominant stock coming out from Jump Steady. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's getting Nair trained again? No, the platform kind of messed up the distinction there. When you get a Nair like that, and they end up on the platform like that, most of the time, instead of going for another Nair, because if you go for another Nair, there's a pretty huge chance that they just, like, fall out like that. You just go into up airs. Uh, yeah. That going into up airs is just safer. That makes sense. Okay, turn around, grab. K9 trying to find this stock, but Jump Steady not giving it to him easy. Jump Steady already almost lapping him in percent right now. Very dominant game number two so far. Oh, that up air is so active. He's barely escaping the second one. Oh, man, go for the craziness. I don't blame him, honestly. Yeah, he, he, he he's was, trying to make a play out. Yeah, yeah, he, he needed that stock. And I know he can get, like, landing fair to Wolf Flash, too, depending on the DI. But, uh, yeah, nice game for Jump Steady. Taking that one with the two stock. I really think the, the current pick helped him out a lot. Like, the platform layout, as soon as the match started, he got so much percent. Like, he got, got the Nair uh, carry him to the top platform, then he just, like, up aired him to, like, the top blast zone. Basically, like, Kana had to start the match from behind, like, almost immediately. And it never really changed to his favor. Right. right. Yeah, I mean, just like you said, that counter pick really working out well for uh, Jump Steady. So we'll see what the counter pick here is for Sir K9. Kanan Sir Thunder honestly Gaming. rarely counter picks. Like, I'm just judging off of like, his match history versus most people I see him play. Like, if he can, he'll play the, the whole set on, on PS2, honestly. Really? Yeah. Which sometimes I would say is like, it, it works against him, but I don't know. So what happens if someone bans PS2? I think he just goes to like the most neutral stage after that. Like I don't think he goes to anything crazy like Kalos or... What if they use their two bands on the two most neutral stages? Then he's, he's probably not having a good time. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm going to ban uh, PS, PS2 and like Smashville. Like, oh, well, I'm out of luck. <laughs> oh, wow, the hunt down. Wow, catches the air. Wow, a very high recovery there from K9. Yeah. It's kind of risky too, but I guess Jump City didn't expect it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely got away with it. Ooh, catches nice the lead roll. Back air, is that enough? Wow, Almost. barely. But he lands right into the explosive play. Where's he going to mix up now? Oh, he's man, Jump City. Yeah, but Jump City's falling everywhere he's trying to go. Does he, oh, oh wow. the I guess, he, I guess he doesn't have double jump. He, like, he didn't. Felt like he had it, but I guess not. But nonetheless, he's alive and kicking with this max rage. Can he get the down smash? He needs it. Oh, you're getting the press of the ledge. Goes high with the platform. Nice. That yeah, jump set, he definitely doesn't want to overextend. You see 
uh, Jump said he compensating with his drift back for the uh, like hard drift in nares and stuff like that. Yeah, he had such a big like first half of this stock. I, I know he doesn't want to drop it first after he was looking so dominant. Okay, and I'm trying to play patient at the ledge here. I know Jump said he's looking for that one with punish. I feel like that could have been a back air on that with that attack, but catches the roll in because that nair hitbox is insane. It's magical. And that's the one thing about Palutena when you, you need to close out a stock. She has so many ways to close it out. Dash attack, nair, back throw, back air, like even ferret certain parts of the edge. That's another situation where you probably should up air it instead of nair there. Yeah. Because uh, if you up air it, then they wouldn't have fell out like that. Yeah. And you can get like two up airs like that usually, when you get yeah. caught on the platform. Yeah, usually at low percent. Or it like sets up for a nice frame trap nonetheless. Just depends on how much rage you got. Not, I mean, right now Jump Steady doing a phenomenal job getting all this damage in on yeah. the second stop. Looking real good. And he's not he's not forcing anything either. Like Kano's in a position where he has to be the one to approach. And I feel like Jump Steady is like consistently whip punishing him. Oh, but that dash in, I don't know about that. I know the dash that crossed him up, so he was kind of mixed up a little bit there. Wow. Oh, big damage. Taking a lot of damage for going for that down smash there. Yeah. Tech chase. Oh, he didn't follow the tech in place, but, or the tech roll in, but he's still getting a lot of percent. Yeah, Canine all of a sudden in the driver's seat of this game, and I, I believe everything, yeah, is best of three here, so this is the last game of this set. Yep. Really early loses bracket for whoever loses this one here. Oh, barely out of range. The jump said he really likes that forward smash, I noticed. Yeah. Can I bring out the down smash? You don't see that most of the time. Ooh. No back air. Yeah, he got the DI or DI in on the down so I thought that was like a free hit for Jump City. But he wanted to wait out the uh, option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opted for the reset. Ooh, he's super dead at that percent. Just go for it. Throw off the explosive flame. Let's see how much percent Jump City can rack up here. Oh. Oh, right there. Okay, so that one he tried to go for the. Uh, yeah, up there. The up air. He didn't get the nair that like trapped him on the platform though. True, true. Oh, this is big for Jump Steady. Nice, caught the jump. Oh, wow, that almost caught air dodge. Yeah. That's almost. how good nair is. <laughs> it's so active. Yeah, and it's quite a large move. Really good for that air to air and canine in a really sticky situation. Yeah. Big, big hits here for Jump Steady. And I really like how consistently he's holding center stage. You see in canines like trying to force these options to get the stock, but big up smash there. I like the up smash actually. That's a usually really good uh, tech chase on the platform, but he just didn't go the direction he was expecting. But oh my goodness, down throw back here, barely not killing, but nice coverage on the wolf flash. Jump steady, taking that one. Two one. Got some slow mo on the camera. Yes. <laughs> slow mo with the 